Hello beautiful Virgos. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we are here for a love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's take a look and see what's happening in your love life, Virgo. All right, you and your person of interest feel the temperance card in the recent past is a mutual energy between the two of you. The current mutual energy between the two of you is the Seven of Pentacles. How they view the situation as it is right now, Virgo, the Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify everything and give the reading once we get all the cards here on the deck. How do they view you, Virgo? Let's see. They view you as a Page of Pentacles. Somebody who's sweet and kind. <laughs> How do they feel in their heart space, Virgo? How are they feeling in their heart space for you? That seems to want to be right there. Ooh, Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is happily ever after. Okay, so let's see how they view the situation with you going forward, Virgo. Let's see. What is their viewpoint? How do they view it unfolding? Lover's card. Wow. That is an amazing six card spread but we're going to go nine cards on this and we're going to clarify the mutual energy between the two of you that's hidden is death and rebirth we see beautiful flowers and a fish of love some pisces energy along with that scorpio energy a lot of blooming lilies something that's being brought back from the the dead perhaps you may have had a breakup with this person you might have a reconciliation with them for, for those who it's true. Okay, the star card. That is the advice of spirit. Be spiritual, said spirit. <laughs> that is the rock star card of beauty, integrity, spirituality. And look at your outcome card is nine of swords. So the nine of swords is a card of worry and losing sleep. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the energies are our beautiful Virgo friends. So you have this beautiful relationship that's gone through some sort of death and rebirth and you have worries, Virgo. You have worries, okay. So let's look and see why the temperance card is here for you. Strength card, your relationship is very powerful. That's the infinity symbol. You really feel so intensely about this person. Virgo, you love this person. You feel as though you've been together a number of lifetimes. This really speaks to the fact that you are willing to do what's necessary to have this relationship work. The temperance card also tells us that you might have a reconciliation, but it's always working things out. Sagittarius energy, Leo energy. We also see the beautiful Six of Wands, the Leo card. You want to have a win. Both of you want to have a victory and plan life together. Both of you are soulmates, soulmates of the Minor Arcana, Two of Cups, getting along really well. The King of Cups energy is coming in as loving each other with Scorpio strength. The Death card is also Scorpio energy. So what we're seeing here is a death and rebirth. You're very calm, cool, collected. You know, your love is beneath the surface. It's very private for both of you. And the lover's card, whoa. <laughs> That's a whole reading unto itself. <laughs> and that was a recent mutual energy. But it looks as though for those of you who've been in separation for the pandemic, for good reason, for reasons you didn't like so much, most likely, but it really speaks to the fact that this is a powerful relationship, Virgo. Your person loves you. You love them. There's this real feeling of kismet that you're meant to be together. All right. So what do we have? Seven of Pentacles is all about investing in a relationship. You are invested. Temperance card once again. We see it again. We have temperance card here. Different deck. Temperance card says that there's no problem that you can't work out, and that's how you both feel. You're both invested. Seven of Swords says that there may be something about the relationship that's either secretive to the outside world, maybe the world doesn't know about your relationship, but it also speaks to the fact that if your relationship 
uh, has secrets in it that they're not healthy. It does look like something was revealed, okay? Because I'm getting the Tower card. Any secrets that are in this relationship will come out very quickly and very soon. Now, it does look as though with that Tower card, it's already happened, or it's soon to happen. With a Scorpio energy, it could have been triggered by the Scorpio full moon, or a full moon in Scorpio, or a moon in Scorpio. How your person sees you as the person they want to build a future with. The Ace of Pentacles is usually the ring that is offered for an engagement of marriage. So we see that your person is trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. Libra energy, very uh, discerning, really trying to find out and make sure that what appears to be the case is the case. Your person feels as though they are at a crossroads and they do find you to be their happy place, you know? Gorgeous. They really, they love to have time with you. They love to uh, spend time having fun with friends. Three of Cups are your best friend. That is also, so now we have the engagement set. The Clarifiers plus the Ace of Pentacles are equaling a, an engagement ring, okay? because that's the set that determines uh, engagement. So that's the philosophical set, as I learned it. Not every reader, reader learns it the, way, the same way I have. Not everybody reads it the same way, but that, and I found it to be true so many times with my clients. Okay, the Four of Cups says that your person thinks that you might be bored with them, that they're, <laughs> <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so they see you as a Page of Pentacles, Virgo. So they see you as somebody who's young and sweet and nice. And, you know, you're not really rushing things. They're not really quite sure if you're in it the same the way they are. And so they think that you are not going to believe in this relationship until they produce a ring. Okay? So Virgo, they think that you're just going to play it cool until there's a ring, until there's a commitment, until there's a decision to be made. Why do we have, oh, here we go, look at this energy. Your person in their heart space sees you as their empress. They see you as the Ten of Cups or happily ever after. They're Nine of Cups, everything that makes them happy. They want to introduce you to all of their friends with the Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. The Ten of Cups means that you'll have a very vibrant social life together. Right now, it looks as though your person doesn't think the timing is right to present a ring to you. Um, your clarifier for the Lover's card is somebody is playing it cool. They're playing it cool like, I'm just over here, you know, I'm not, I don't have any big plans. Just because I have a ring stuck in the top drawer of my dresser doesn't mean I have any plans with you. <laughs> but I'm just teasing, of course. But your person is making big moves. Aries energy, the Emperor card, does not leave much for chance. With the Lover's card, your Emperor is uh, your person of interest is making uh, strategic moves to win you. Leo energy, this person is very fixed on you and very fiery and passionate about you. The star card, that's been coming up. That's so beautiful. It really speaks to the fact that to your person, you are the rock star of their life. Their heart is open. They want you. They only want you. Uh, it does look like they kind of spy on you a little bit. <laughs> they really, they have some fear. You know, they have some fear that you may not choose them as the one. Because Virgo, you're playing it pretty cool over here. The hidden energy between the two of you is a judgment. Now, let's see. I have the Queen of Swords and the Judgment card. Judgment is all about karma. It's about releasing an old life for a new life. With the Death card, I do feel as though your relationship requires letting go of something from the past. So it can be another marriage, it can be another relationship, but it really speaks to the fact that the two of you quietly, secretly, I believe, have made a decision to turn your lives, you know, to, to end something in your lives to the surprise of many people so that you can be together, okay? So that is how I see this unfolding. 
So the star card is what spirit recommends for you, Virgo. The star card is telling us that you're beautiful inside, beautiful outside. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. But this is a card that really says that this person is your wish fulfillment. Spirit is saying, take this seriously. It's beautiful energy. And the card clarifying it is, honey, I'm home. So, Virgo, you are going to take this very seriously. You want this person in your life. Tell us something more about this breakup or the death card. I really want to explore this a bit more. Why is a judgment card here with a death card? So a decision was made to end something else so that the two of you could be reborn justice card okay so to me that's really clear <clears throat> the justice card is typically when people buy a home together they get married it's the legal documents that are we use in our society in the world to to put people together legally and the judgment card is the judgment of divorce so what i'm seeing here is that the death of one relationship had to occur for the two of you to be together for your wish fulfillment to come through through. Now, your person and you are both worried. The Nine of Swords says that you're not sure. Nine of Swords clarifying the Nine of Swords. <gasps> the Five of Coins feeling left out in the cold. So what I'm seeing here is for you, Virgo, and we have Taurus King clarifying, is that this may create a tremendous burden or what feels like a tremendous financial burden for someone to let go of a marriage you know feeling that they need to to leave the family intact that it will definitely impact the money and the abundance in your relationship so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to look at more clarifiers for this what why is the five of coins here it's, it's also when divorces happen, spouses fight, there could be a very big bitterness here in which whoever this Taurus king is, whoever this king energy is that's leaving the relationship may have to put up with the fact that somebody's very, very sneaky, you know, might try to turn people against them. You know, children, it's, it's really, but here's the good news, look at this. Not to worry, the sun card is coming out. The sun card is shining with the star card. With this energy that I see here for the two of you, even though you're worried, that is Gemini energy, even though you're very, very worried, Virgo, you have all the tools to, to make this work. You love each other tremendously, and your person sees you as the only person they want to be with. So I'm going to take this to the extended. If I see you over there, thank you. If not, thank you for joining me. Sunny love.